Okay, setting up my screen. <coughs> okay. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! <laughs> Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat. That way I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat. That way I know everything is a-okay. There are no technical difficulties. You can see me, you can hear me, everything's okay. Kadeen says yes, thank you Kadeen. All right, Trolley, hello, thank you. Air Lady is here, hello Air Lady. Tetro says yes. Hassan, good morning. Helga, thank you. Helga says yes. Nelson, thank you so much. All right. Carlos says yes. Good, good, good. Air Lady says yes. Candy, hello. <laughs> hello. Okay, good. Well, you can see me, you can hear me, so everything's working fine. That's good. That's a relief. Yes, it is. All right. Well, um, we always have a toast for good luck. Let's do that. Whatever you're drinking, pick it up. I have my tumbler with hot coffee. This is what I will toast with. All right. And we will have two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. Yes, the members. They join the channel. They support me. They support the channel. You see them. Their names are in green. Let's give them a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. <clears throat> and because we had a toast, we have to have, we have, to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mm. Our second toast. It's for you. Yes. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to fun interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Okay, good, good. Well, that was our toast. We're going to have good luck for sure. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Well, um, oh, Cory, Hello, Cory. Thank you for coming. Brave, hello, good, good, good. Samuel, hello. Lilia, hello, good, good, good. Um, Karsa Putra, <laughs> hello. Santos, hello. Lucini, 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 Lucini. Okay, good, good. Livia, good. Um, Ven Kang Nagoda. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm very sorry. Sama, hello. Ramen, hello. Okay, good. Andre, hello. Good. Mimose, hello. Habib, hello. Aza, hello. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, Lucini, Lucini. Okay, good, Lucini. Huh. It's, it's always a struggle for me to pronounce your names because I'm not sure if I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing your name, but because I cannot hear you, I don't know. So I hope I'm getting close. I know I'm not getting it right, but I hope at least I'm kind of getting close to um, the correct pronunciation. Kunaz, hello. Okay. Rage, hello. What's happening this morning? Well, we're starting our class. That's what's happening this morning. And let me tell you about our plan today. Sama, good morning, Sama. Uh, she's an early bird. Yes, rise and shine, Sama. <laughs> Uh, early bird catches the worm, right? So it's good getting up early, starting your day early. Yep, that's the healthy way. <laughs> okay, let's talk about today's lesson plan. We are going to do four activities today for 
<clears throat> we're going to form a sentence. I'm going to give you a pattern and you're going to make sentences based on the pattern. We're going to do some more quizzes from my second book, book number two. Uh, yesterday we did some quizzes and we're going to do some more today. Then we're going to review a worksheet, 10 very short conversations. We will watch a video and um, review the worksheet. So we won't spend a long time on the worksheet, but we will watch the video and then review the worksheet, do some more practice, and then um, we're also going to review <clears throat> another worksheet that we did yesterday, uh, which one is different, and the topic is art. Let me grab, let's see, the pages are sticking together right here. So um, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do some new, and then we're going to um, review from yesterday. And I want to tell you that today's worksheets are on my Patreon page. All the worksheets we do in the live stream class are on my Patreon page. There's a link for it in the descriptions. Support me on Patreon and you get all the worksheets. Okay, Evelyn's here. Hello, Evelyn. Mwah. Oh, Andre. Yes, how can I get your books? My books are at Amazon.com. Thank you for asking. There are three books. Each book is about 50 very short conversations. And then there is a book on which one is different. We're going to do, um, actually, we're going to do some activities from, from um, both these books. Okay, or we're going to do um, some, which ones, which one is different, and then we're going to um, do some quizzes that are in the books. Okay, so let's get going, shall we? Um, form a sentence. This is our first activity today. Let me write the um, pattern here. Hey, gosh, how are you doing? Okay, turkey's in the house. All right. Here we go. Number one. Form a sentence. <clears throat> and here it is. Wait, wait, wait. This is the, this is the wrong one. <laughs> that was yes. Here, this is it. This is the one. I was looking at it. I go, what? That's not our pattern. Okay, here we go. Somebody, somebody, and then we need um, past tense verb. Plus my, plus noun. Oops. Okay, that's our pattern. <clears throat> Okay, so somebody plus past tense verb plus my plus noun. So I want you to make a sentence using this pattern. Somebody, past tense verb, my, and then a noun. Can you make a sentence using this pattern? Mary, good afternoon to you. Okay, ramen. Good. Somebody took my keys. Very good. Oh boy, that's not good. Somebody took, that's past tense, my, and then the keys. Very good. Somebody took my keys. That is not, that's not good. That's not very nice. Right? There's nothing more frustrating than looking for keys. And if someone took your keys and you're, you're looking for them, you'll never find them because someone took them. Okay, good, 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 Andrea. Somebody asked my name. Or somebody asked for my name. That's better. Somebody asked for my name. Oh, no, Helga. Oh, hello, Helga. Mwah, Helga. Somebody took my pen. That's terrible. Sarah, I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you doing, Sarah? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, Mauricio, let's see your sentence. Oh, no, Tetsuro. Hello, how are you, Tetsuro? Somebody sold my car. Oh, boy. 
without you, without your、uh, permission, that's not good. Oh no, Umesh, somebody stole my bicycle. Ah, that's not good. Hello, Sarah. Oh, 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 the, the books are $10. You could go to Amazon and you can see they're, they're $10. Or I think they're maybe nine, nine something. I forget. They're about $10, maybe $9.50. I, I'm not sure, but go to Amazon and you can get all that information. Oh, no, Lilia. Somebody ate my pie. Don't eat Lilia's pie. Helga, somebody,、um, okay, we went past tense, so someone drank my milk. So we went past tense. Oh boy, somebody kissed my lips. <laughs> we bark.、Uh, Nelson, somebody took my pencil. Don't do that. Carlos, somebody asked me for your books. Nice, Carlos. Tell them to go to Amazon.com. Air Lady, somebody stole my checkbook. Oh, that's terrible. Raj, hello. Somebody helped her. That's nice. Umesh, somebody took my lemons and made lemonade. <laughs> Did someone? Take your lemons and made lemonade. Nelson, somebody took my glass. Tetsuro, somebody brought my bike.、Oh, okay, brought my bike to me. Somebody brought my bike to me. Okay, Tetsuro. Evelyn, oh no, somebody spilled coffee on the school bus. Who has to clean it? Do you have to clean it up, Evelyn? Somebody hacked my bank account. That's terrible. I don't like hackers. Somebody stole my handphone. That's terrible, Samuel. I don't like thieves. Somebody watched TV. Wait, 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 wait. That was Raj. Somebody watched TV in the. Okay, so Raj, we're using my. So you can say, somebody watched TV in my room. That's good. Somebody watched TV in my room. That's kind of like, you know, the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And、um, Gold Goldilocks, she, she walked into the、uh, bear's house and she, she, what, she, ate their, she ate their soup. Then she sat in their chair and she slept in their beds. And so、um, she tried each one. And then the bears came in. They said, Oh, somebody、um, you know, drank my soup. Oh, somebody sat in my chair. Oh, somebody slept in my bed. <laughs> right? You know that Goldilocks and the, and the three bears. You know that story. Oh. Mubarak, somebody subscribe to your channel. Nice. <clears throat> oh, okay.、Um, somebody read my book. So, not watch, but read, read my book. Oh, Helga says, somebody rode my bike. Candy says, somebody played my guitar. Okay, Candy, my. <clears throat> JV, hello. Oh, that's good, Ron. Somebody cleaned my shoes. That's good. Right? So we're looking at negatives, right? Oh, someone stole my keys. Somebody took my bicycle, right? Those are negative. But then all of a sudden, like a positive. Oh, somebody、uh, washed my car. Oh, somebody、um, made my bed. Oh, somebody made my dinner, right? So th those are positive things. So we can.、Um, We could do positive, we could do negative sentences and we can do,、uh, uh, wait, we can do positive, we can do negative sentences or positive sentences using this pattern, right? So, so good things and bad things. So, of course, a good thing, oh, somebody 
um, made my bed. Oh, you come home and you're, or someone cleaned my house or somebody um, picked up my toys or someone um, put away the dishes. You know, somebody washed the dishes. Oh, that's good, right? You're happy. Or, you know, a negative, you know, something that is bad. You know, someone took my key. Someone uh, scratched my car. Somebody um, broke my window, right? Those are bad things. So we have good things and bad things. Evelyn, somebody ate my lunch. Oh boy, you know. So maybe at your job, at work, you have a refrigerator in the office, kind of like your break room. And maybe you put your lunch in there. You know, you're doing your job and you come, you know, now it's lunchtime. You come back to the break room, open the refrigerator, and somebody ate your lunch. Now you're hungry and you have no lunch. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, that's good. I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities. We're busy today. So um, I see... I see lots of great sentences in the chat, and I always say we can we learn from examples, and there's lots of examples in the chat. So we are um, helping each other. We are learning from each other. So great job, everyone! Nice, nice, nice. Yes, Candy, somebody played my guitar, right? And in something like you would know that, right? Because maybe you know, Candy, she has her guitar, and and that's her hobby. And so she places it always in the same spot. So she knows if the guitar has been moved. She knows if someone has played her guitar. So um, anyways. <laughs> okay, good job everyone. And like we always do, we will come back and we will review this, right? Um, we'll do it next week. So um, anyways, let's go to our next activity that is number two, activity number two, and that's going to be some uh, quizzes. We're going we're gonna to do some quizzes from my book, book number two. So here we go, activity number two, <clears throat> um, quizzes. Okay, let's do some quizzes, and, <clears throat> and we're going to use book two for the quizzes. And um, yesterday we did some quizzes and how it works after, so there are 50 very short conversations and after eight conversations, we have eight quizzes. And, and so um, yesterday we did, we did what, like um, maybe we did like six or something like that. So let's continue with some more quizzes. And, and so I'm going to, um, read a sentence and then you have to figure out which word to use okay so there's a choice of three words which word fits the sentence one more time which word fits the sentence so which word belongs in the sentence okay so here we go please listen carefully our flight looks to be and then the last word is time. So we have three words, at, on, up, at, on, up. Our flight looks to be at time. Our flight looks to be on time. Our flight looks to be up time. All right, so which word is it at, is it on, or is it up? I'll read it one more time. Oh, Raj, what number? Okay, yeah, yeah, good. So Raj has the book, and, and so um, she can do it with us. Page 32, book two, Raj, page 32. Very good, Raj, thank you. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Our flight looks to be at time. Our flight looks to be on time. Our flight looks to be up time time. Which word is it? Is it at? Is it on or up? Hey learner, how are you? Yes. Good, 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 good. 
Nice. On time. That is correct. <clears throat> Our flight looks to be on time. I'll write that on the board. Our flight looks to be on time. Yeah. Good, good. <clears throat> Our flight looks to be on time. That's good, right? Because I, I think these days, many um, flights, that's um, an airplane, uh, many flights are late or not on time, not on time. They are running late. So on time and the opposite would be maybe running Late, not on time. <laughs> so either those are probably the two best choices. Running late, running late, or not on time. So maybe the, the opposite would be our flight looks to be um, running late. Okay. That would be, this is good, right? We want to be on time. Or actually early, our flight looks to be early. Okay, and then um, running late. Okay, so <clears throat> those are kind of the three possibilities, right? Um, our flight looks to be early. Our flight looks to be on time. <clears throat> our flight looks to be running late. And I think these days running late is more common than uh, on time. Mubarak, thank you. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Yes. Mwah. Kisses to you, Mubarak. Thank you. Your name gets to be up here. This is the space of love right there. <laughs> this is the place of love. Mubarak. Okay, you get a heart. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> Here's a little uh, toast to you, Mubarak, for your extra, for your support. I appreciate it. Mm. Okay, let's continue with our quiz. So here we go. Our next quiz. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. We have three words. These are um, question words and they start at the beginning, okay? So we have when, what, where. When, what, where. When, what, where. And then um, the, the end of the sentence, are you doing? Are you doing? So is it when are you doing? Is it what are you doing? Is it where are you doing? Okay, so here we go. We have, okay, which word? Is it when, what, or where? And the sentences are, when are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you doing? <laughs> which one is it? Is it when? Is it what? Or is it where? Yeah, okay, that was, you guys, that was a good one. That was an easy one for you. That is correct. What are you doing? Yes, yes, good, good, good. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, um, here in Japan, I live in Japan, so uh, I'm talking to you. I'm here with you. I'm in Japan. And it is Saturday morning. So how about this? In the chat, please tell me, what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing this weekend? Do you have plans? If you have plans, please tell me in the chat. Um, what are you doing this weekend? How about that? So we just add, <clears throat> let's add this weekend to it. And then you can tell me what your plans are. So what are you doing this weekend? Let me do it again. Make it a little bit lower here. Okay. <clears throat> what are you 
doing this weekend? Please tell the chat what you are doing this weekend. What are you doing this weekend? Okay, Tetsuro says, uh, I'm studying English this weekend. Very good. Raj says, I'm, I'm attending the live stream class. Good. Okay, Raman, I am going to visit my uncle on Sunday. Very good. Carlos, barbecue this weekend. <laughs> wow, so Carlos, you're going to barbecue this weekend. Very good. Actually, I was thinking that too. I was thinking I have um, a friend coming over Sunday to my, tomorrow. I'm having a friend over to my house tomorrow. And I was thinking, oh, maybe um, I'll barbecue for him and his wife. So my friend and his wife are coming to my place on Sunday, tomorrow. And so I was thinking, oh, perhaps it, it's cold, right? So it's very cold. And, and so it's a little difficult to barbecue in cold weather. But um, it's a possibility. I'm thinking about it. Okay, um, Lucine, Lucini is um, going to a movie? Is that, are you going to a movie this weekend? Okay, Gosh is going to study. Gosh is a student, so Gosh is going to study this weekend. Oh, um, Andrea is going to travel this weekend, that's nice. Learner is going to a friend's place. That's good. Sims, this weekend I'm going shopping at the stop shop in uh, Providence. Okay. Matsuda, I'm going to my parents this weekend. Yes, it, yes, S. It's very cold these days. Okay, Umesh is going to visit his relatives. Kayleen is going to watch some videos this weekend. Andrea is going to travel. That's nice. Oh, oh I'm, I'm going to travel or I'm going traveling. Um, let's see. I'm going traveling. That's okay. Yeah, I'm going traveling. I'm going to travel. Either way is okay, I think. Mubarak, what are you doing on my table? <laughs> what? what are you doing on my table? Get down. Don't stand on the table. Okay, uh, S is going to visit um, some friends. Uh, and C is going to stay home and watch TV. Helga, oh yeah, so Helga is... Helga lives in the Ukraine, and so um, it's the Orthodox Christmas, Orthodox Christians, so they're celebrating Christmas. So Helga, um, Merry Christmas, Merry Orthodox Christmas, I'm not sure how to say that. Okay, um, Josette, or Josette, I'm going to church, and do several things, then study English. Very good. Okay. So Raj is going to the cow shed. So Raj has many cows, and so um, she's going to do. She's going to take care of her cows. Carlos, um, we have nice weather in Texas this weekend. Sixty-five to seventy-five. Nice, perfect. Seventy. That's like California weather. Carlos, that's like California. Evelyn, this week I'm going to stay home and do housework. Aza, I'm learning Excel this weekend. Ah, Aza, I recommend you get Apple. Forget Excel. 
do pages much easier <laughs> or yeah forget forget Microsoft get get rid of Microsoft <laughs> okay good Candy's gonna practice her guitar of course okay let's do one more quiz okay we're gonna do one more quiz I'm looking at the clock like I said we're busy 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 so let's do we got room let's let's do one more quiz right here shall we so we're still page 32 okay Raj page 32 and um okay here we go our three words we're going to starts with um three possibilities so the sentence starts with three possibilities we why he <clears throat> we why he and it continues <clears throat> do i have to take this do i have to take this okay is it we do i have to take this why do i have to take this he do i have to take this one more time <clears throat> we do i have to take this why do i have to take this he do i have to take this which one is it is it we is it why is it he okay i'll do it one more time we do i have to take this why do i have to take this he do i have to take this that's right good 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 so you got it why do i have to take this <laughs> why do i have to take this why do i have to take this why do i have to take this so in this situation you know it's probably medicine right and so um maybe you go to the doctor and they give you a prescription right so you go to the doctor because you're not feeling good right you think something is wrong and so you want to go see a doctor you want a doctor to check you out and so the doctor you know wants you to take some medicine and so they write you a prescription do 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 okay take this medicine please <clears throat> and so then you say oh why do i have to take this and you, oh because um you have um a sore throat right or you have a, an infection or or you have um a virus some so you need this medicine to kill the virus you need this medicine to cure your um your illness whatever you know whatever it whatever the problem is you know this medicine will take care of it and so you ask the doctor why do i have to take this <clears throat> or you know a child might say why do i have to take this it's it's you know it's awful you know or you know it doesn't taste good why do i have to take this and then you tell the you tell your child oh, because you have a cold or because you have to get better right and so um anyways <laughs> so why do i have to take this so it's good like if someone tells you to do something it's good to um know why right you want to know the reason why you are doing this you want to know the reason why you are taking this you want to know the reason why you are told to do something right okay good good okay that was um a few sentences from the from the quiz okay so let's i'm looking at the clock we got to keep moving we have to move along and here we go our next activity this review all right review so 10 very short conversations we're going to um watch a video and practice some patterns okay we're gonna watch a video and do some patterns practice some patterns 
Thank you, Carlos. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to put up the video here. There it is. And so um, let's let's say the sentences together. All right. So let's say the sentences together. I'm making it full screen so we can see. Okay, I think that's good. Here we go. Let's move it along. Here we go. There it is. This is a review from yesterday. We did this yesterday and we'll do it one more time. It's good to review. Okay, let's say this sentence together. How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? I'm well, thanks. I'm well, thanks. I'm well, thanks. How are you today? I'm well, thanks. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. But I don't want to. But I don't want to. But I don't want to. It's time to wake up. But I don't want to. What are your plans for the weekend? What are your plans for the weekend? What are your plans for the weekend? <clears throat> None at the moment. None at the moment. None at the moment. What are your plans for the weekend? None at the moment. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? They both look nice. They both look nice. They both look nice. Which one do you prefer? They both look nice. Can you help me out? Can you help me out? Can you help me out? Sorry, not today. Sorry, not today. Sorry, not today. Can you help me out? Sorry, not today. Hi, my name is Bill. Hi, my name is Bill. Hi, my name is Bill. Hello, Bill. I'm Beth. Hello, Bill. I'm Beth. Hello, Bill. I'm Beth. Hi, my name is Bill. Hello, Bill. I'm Beth. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? It went down there. It went down there. It went down there. Where did it go? It went down there. May I speak? May I speak? 
May I speak? Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. May I speak? Yes, go ahead. I washed my hands. I washed my hands. I washed my hands. Good, thanks. Good, thanks. Good, thanks. I washed my hands. Good, thanks. It was good seeing you. It was good seeing you. It was good seeing you. You too. Bye. You too. Bye. You too. Bye. It was good seeing you. You too. Bye. Okay, now we're going to um, take turns, yeah? I will go first. I will be the blue sentences. And you will go second. You will be the black sentences. How are you today? It's time to wake up. What are your plans for the weekend? Which one do you prefer? Can you help me out? Hi, my name is Bill. Where did it go? <clears throat> May I speak? I washed my hands. It was good seeing you. Okay, let's switch. You will go first. You will be the blue sentences. And I will go second. I will be the black sentences. I'm well, thanks. But I don't want to. None at the moment. They both look nice. Sorry, not today. Huh. 
Hello, Bill. I'm Beth. It went down there. Yes, go ahead. Good, thanks. You too, bye. Okay, nice. Okay, good job. Okay, that was the video. And now we're going to um, practice the worksheet. Yeah? And um, get the worksheet on my Patreon page. All the, worksheet, all the worksheets we do in the live stream class are on my Patreon page. Support me there. Get the worksheets. Yeah. Um, Raj, she joined the other day. Thank you, Raj. She joined my Patreon, and now she has all the worksheets, so she could do it um, with the class. Yeah. Okay. Good. So um, I'm going to put the worksheet on the on the on the screen. So in the chat, you can make sentences using the patterns. Okay. So um, let's have a look at the worksheet. Here's the worksheet. Now, um, part one at the right here at the top is are the conversations and the patterns and examples. Conversations, patterns, examples, and then down below you do your own sentences based on the patterns. You do your own sentences based on the patterns. Okay, so let's have a look. So there are the sentences, patterns, examples, and then down below, you write your own. Practice your own. So let's have a look. I'm making it larger. We did this yesterday. This is a review from yesterday. Okay, so we have uh, conversation one, two, three, it goes to 10. So let's look at the... Uh, first few here. Okay, conversation number one. How are you today? I'm well, thanks. Pattern, I'm. Then the example, I'm doing good, thanks. Conversation number two. It's time to wake up, but I don't want to. Pattern, it's time to. Example, it's time to go to work. Conversation number three. What are your plans for the weekend? None at the moment. Pattern. What are? Example. What are you doing tonight? Conversation number four. Which one do you prefer? They both look nice. Pattern. Which one? Example, which one looks best? Conversation five, can you help me out? Sorry, not today. Pattern, can you? Example, can you give me a ride? Conversation number six, hi, my name is Bill. Hello, Bill, I'm Beth. Pattern, my. Example, my favorite meal is dinner. Conversation seven, where did it go? It went down there. Pattern, where? Example, where are my keys? Conversation number eight, may I speak? Yes, go ahead. Pattern, may I? Example, May I have some water? Conversation nine. I washed my hands. Good, thanks. Pattern, I. 
Example, I usually have eggs for breakfast. Okay, now make your own sentences. Tetsuro. Oh, okay, learner. I see learner. Um, learner, how are you today? I'm not bad. Tetsuro, how are you today? I'm so-so, thanks. Umesh, how are you feeling? I'm great, thanks. Kaylin, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. Tetsuro, number two. It's time to go to school, but I don't want to. <laughs> Helga, how are you today? I'm okay, thanks. Ramen, how are you today? I am doing great. Tetsuo, number three. What are you doing next month? Um, okay, so none, okay, so plans, right? And so none, that's for, um, for, for plural, right? So um, what are your plans? That's a plural, right? and then none at the moment. So Tetsuro, um, what are you doing next month? And then you want to say um, nothing at the moment. Okay, so none would be for plural. How many apples do you want? None, thanks. Um, how, how, many, um, how many CDs do you have? None. Okay, so we use none with the plural. And, and so you, you don't have, what are you doing next month? There's no plural noun in there. We're plans. That's a um, plural noun. Plan. I have one plan. I have many plans. Okay. Uh, it's time to get into our work. Nice. Helga, it's time to have breakfast, but I don't want to. <laughs> Mubarak, how are you today? I'm great. Thanks. And you? Learner, it's time to clean. Ramen, what are you eating? Hey Gary, how are you? Umesh, it's time to get up. Do I have to? Uh, okay, Aza, how are you today? I'm good today. S, how are you today? I am good, thanks. Cecilia, how are you today? I'm great, thanks. Tetsuro, which one smells good? They both smell good. Matsura, how are you today? I'm great. Thanks. Candy, how are you today? I'm pretty good. Cecilia, it's time to go to school, but I don't want to. Learner, what are you doing? Okay, last week, that's past tense, learner. So, what did you do last week? Okay, so that's past tense. What did you do last week? Air Lady, how are you today? I am very great. S. It's time to go to the gym. I don't want to go. Okay, S, it's time to go to the gym. Go to the gym. Samuel, it's time to go to church, but it's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. Mubarak, it's time to wake up, but I don't want to. Okay, it's time to sleep. <laughs> Ramen, which one do you want? This one or that one. Tetsuro, what are you doing next month? Nothing at the moment. There you go. That's good, Tetsuro. Cecilia, what are you doing next week? Okay, okay same. Okay, let me, that's, so let, let me, hold, hold on. Let me explain this real quick. Okay, so, um, Right here, we had, yesterday we had problems too. So um, th this caused people problems. Okay, what are your plans at the moment? Okay, so plans, that's plural, right? I have one plan, I have two plans, I have three plans, right? So um, things you are doing, right? So a plan is uh, something you decided to do. I, I have a plan. I'm going to barbecue. I have two plans. I'm going to barbecue and play basketball. Okay, so two plans. So none, we would, that means like zero, right? And so we use none with plural nouns. So for example, um, how many apples do you have? None. How many books do you have? None. 
How many TVs do you have? None. So those are TV, that's a noun. Apple, that's a noun. Book, that's a noun. So if we're using how many books do you have? Oh, none. How many apples do you have? None. How many TVs do you have? None. Zero. So um, what are your plans this weekend, right? What are your plans? Oh, I'm going to barbecue. I'm going to play basketball. I'm going to watch YouTube. Okay, and so those are your, your plans. And so um, in conversation three, um, he has no plans. Okay, so you can say, I have no plans. Or here, none at the moment. So no plan. None at the moment, that means no plans. And so um, you, you, if you, there's some uh, people who said, oh, what are you, um, okay, so the pattern, what are, right? And so um, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing um, for lunch, right? And, and so your answer is not going to be none, okay? It's going to be either uh, I have no plans. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, I have no plans. No, you can use no. I have no plans. So that, that, that's good, okay? So if, if you, okay, so for example, the question, um, what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing this weekend okay like okay so that means like what are your plans right what are you doing this weekend and then you'd say oh um i have no plans so i have i haven't decided anything i have no plans Right? So that means you haven't decided anything. I don't know. Everything's up in the air. So everything's up in the air. So that means like no plans. Everything is up in the air. Kind of like anything is okay. Everything is up in the air. Anything is okay. I'm, I'm up for anything. You want to go to a movie? Okay. Oh, you want to go to the park? Okay. You want to um, go hiking? Okay. Everything's up in the air. I don't care. Anything is okay. So here, what are you doing this weekend? I have no plans. So none is for plural. <coughs> plural nouns, okay? How many apples do you have? None. How many CDs do you have? None. How many TVs do you have? None. Okay. So that was, um, some people had problems with that situation. Okay, Candy, what are you doing tomorrow? I have no plans. Perfect. That's perfect. Oh, Rhoda is having fun. Good, Rhoda. Learning should be fun, right? Learning should be fun. <clears throat> okay, and um, I'll go ahead and you can see that there's number 10. Okay, so number 7, I don't think, we, did we do? Yeah, we did. Okay, so number 10, um, it was good seeing you. You to buy pattern. It was example. It was a nice day today. Okay, Raj. I brushed my teeth. Good, thanks. I usually have milk and cereal for breakfast. Good, good, good. Good, Raj. So Raj, she has the worksheet, right? So Raj. She has the worksheet, so she could be, you know, she's probably at home right now, and she can be writing this, you know, making her sentences here. And so um, you can, everyone, you can see the worksheet, 
but it's nice having your own copy, yes? And so um, get copies at, at Patreon. Help me and you get all the copies. You get all the worksheets we do here in our live stream classes. So please check out my Patreon. There's a link in the descriptions. Okay, Tetsuro, where are my books? They are on the desk. <clears throat> Okay, Mubarak, which one is the best? Okay, the big one or the small one? Okay, we, we talked about this yesterday. I, I want to do this one more time. Okay, so Mubarak. So today Mubarak helped me out, extra support. So I'm going to give him some extra support. So um, yesterday, we some people had the same problem. So um, conversation number four, which one do you prefer? They both look nice. Um, which one, right? And so um, we need to use um, the, okay? So for example, we did this yesterday, right? So uh, these are both uh, drinking um, containers. They're both, um, these are both for drinking, right? So um, which one do you prefer? The tumbler. Or the mug okay you can see it I can see it right so I'm asking you and so you can see both of them and so you need to and then you're gonna choose right and so you say the right so I'm gonna ask you a question which one do you like the tumbler or the mug which one do you like the tumbler or the mug so you can see it we're talking about the tumbler. We're talking about the mug. You can see it. I can see it. And so I'm going to use the. Which one do you prefer? The orange tumbler or the mug? And you're going to say, oh, I prefer the tumbler or I prefer the mug. Yeah. So you want the, 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 the. And then, or we can go, um, we have a pencil and we have a marker. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the pencil or I prefer the marker. Which one do you prefer? The pencil or the marker? You're going to say, oh, I prefer the pencil or you're going to say, I prefer the marker. <clears throat> you can see it. I can see, right? I'm holding it. I'm asking you which one you can see. You're talking to me. And so you're going to use the, 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 T-H-E. Good. So Tetsuro says, I prefer the marker. Okay. Um, S, which soup do you prefer? Okay. The mushroom soup or the tomato soup? So we have to use the, the, the. Okay, everyone? So please, which one do you prefer? The pencil or the marker? Oh, okay. Now, baseball and football you don't need the <laughs> because it is um, uncountable. Okay, so if you can count, we can count pencils one, two, three, four, and we can count markers one, two, three, four. So um, who said that? Baseball. Oh, Carlos. Carlos, uh, which sport do you prefer, baseball or football? Now those are uncountable, right? So we we can't. Baseball is a game and we just we don't say baseballs no we just say baseball the sport baseball the sport football and so we don't use that so that is for countable nouns all right so but for uncountable nouns no the right so for example um which do you, which do you prefer coffee or tea okay coffee is uncountable and tea is uncountable which do you prefer coffee or tea i prefer coffee okay so um for countable nouns we use um the and for uncountable nouns there's no the mubark which do you prefer coke or pepsi yes i prefer pepsi myself i prefer pepsi 
Here in Japan, Pepsi, we don't, you don't find Pepsi very often here in Japan. Japan, it's a Coca-Cola country. <laughs> you don't see Pepsi very much. But I prefer Pepsi. Okay, Evelyn, which, do, which car do you prefer, the motorcycle or... Okay, now, okay, car, Evelyn, car or motorcycle is not a car. So, uh, Evelyn, which car do you prefer? The white one or the blue one? Mm. Umesh, which do you prefer? Coffee or tea? I prefer tea. Yep, that's right. Helga, which ice cream do you prefer? The vanilla ice cream or the chocolate one? I prefer the vanilla ice cream. Okay, Raman, which one do you prefer? The white shirt or the green shirt? Okay, Raman, the green shirt. I prefer the white shirt. Okay, I prefer salad. Yeah, salad uncountable. That's good, Nelson. Uh, Umesh, I prefer Coca-Cola. I prefer Pepsi. Umesh prefers Coca-Cola. Tetsuo, which do you prefer? Um, Okay, which do you prefer? Um, which do you prefer? Going by bus or going by train? There we go. Okay, Tetsuro, which do you prefer? Going by bus or going by train? That's correct. Candy, can you read this English book? Sorry, I can't. Tetsuro, which do you prefer? The cat or the dog? Now, okay, yeah, so you can see the cat, you can see the dog, right? If, if you can't see, right, if we're just talking, you would say, um, which do you prefer, cats or dogs? So, okay, this is another, okay, oh, it's, it's complicated, right? It's very difficult. Now, this is a good example. Um, we're at a pet shop, and there is a dog and there is a cat. You can see it, I can see it, we are at the pet shop. And I say, um, which, uh, which one do you prefer, the cat or the dog? Oh, I prefer the cat, okay? And so I can see it, you can see it, so I say, okay, I prefer the cat. However, let's say we are at a coffee shop and we're just talking, we're having a conversation, and I just ask you, um, oh, which do you prefer, cats or dogs? Okay, we, we can't see cats or dogs, okay? We, we're just, we're only talking, and so I use the S, right? Which do you prefer, cats or dogs? Like the group, right? Like there are many kinds of cats, there are many kinds of dogs, and, and so, oh, I prefer dogs, okay? But if you can see, I'm holding, you know, we're at a pet shop, we're at a supermarket, let's say we're at a supermarket. Oh, which do you prefer? Um, the hot sauce or the barbecue sauce, right? So we're holding it and we're gonna, we're gonna cook a meal. We're gonna, we're going to, um, you know, we're gonna barbecue some chicken and we have a choice. Okay, let's, let's use hot sauce or let's use barbecue sauce. And, um, and so I go, okay, which do you prefer, the hot sauce or the barbecue sauce, right? I'm holding it or we're at the supermarket, we're pointing, and so we use the. So if, if we're just only talking, right? And so, oh, when you are barbecuing, which do you prefer, hot sauce or barbecue sauce? Oh, I prefer using hot sauce, right? So it depends on the situation. If you're, if you're holding the thing, then you use the. If you are just talking, having a conversation, you, you don't need the, right? So um, we are talking about barbecuing, and I ask you, oh, which do you prefer? Um, barbecuing with hot sauce or barbecuing with barbecue sauce? And you say, oh, I prefer barbecuing with hot sauce.
But if we're at the supermarket and we have, we see two things, here's hot sauce, here's barbecue sauce, and I ask you, which do you prefer? The hot sauce or the barbecue sauce? Okay, good. Okay, so Evelyn, which do you prefer for your burger? The mayo or the ketchup? So <clears throat> we are there. She's cook. She's barbecuing, and then she has the the um, or no, she's she's making hamburgers. She's making burgers. There's a bottle of mayonnaise, a bottle of ketchup, and then Evelyn asks, "Oh, which which do you prefer, the mayo or the ketchup?" Okay, good, good, good. So holding it, I'm at your house, Evelyn, and you ask me, "Oh, which one do you prefer, the mayo or the ketchup?" Oh, I prefer the mayo. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm looking. Okay, we got. Okay, let's. This was a review. So, um, anyways, we're going to change topics. Okay. Again, please um, help me, support me. I, it takes me a long time. It takes me time to make these worksheets. So, and I think they're useful for you, especially during class. So um, you can help me by um, joining my Patreon, and by helping me on Patreon, you get all the worksheets. Okay, and you could do it together. We can do it together in the live stream. Okay, so please go to my Patreon. There's a link. Sign up. For the worksheets, please do that. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Yeah, good, Ramen. Which one do you prefer, the hot sauce or the chili sauce? Good, good, good. Air Lady, I prefer lipstick strawberry flavor. Okay, good, Air Lady. So I prefer strawberry flavor lipstick. Okay, so Air Lady, that's a good sentence. You just need to um, the order is wrong. So here you go, Air Lady. Ready? I prefer strawberry flavored lipstick. I prefer strawberry flavor lipstick. Okay, let's go to our next activity. Okay, here we go. We are going to move to our next activity. And our next activity is another worksheet. And this one is, which one is different? And it's based on this book here. So here, which one is different? And so we're going to do which one is different. That's our next activity. That's number, number, oh, I didn't put, number three was 10 very, I didn't, 10 very short conversations. Sorry, I didn't um, write it on the board. Okay, here we go. Number four. Which one is different? Okay, so you're going to choose which, you're going to say why one is different from the others and tell me why, of course. Now, um, there you go. Yeah, yeah, Air Lady, I prefer. My strawberry flavor lipstick. Very good, Air Lady. Lisa, hello. Mwah. So um, we're going to do a worksheet now. And again, okay, Patreon for the worksheet. And it looks like this. It looks like this. And there's four things. One, two, three, four. Here's group one. One, two, three, four. Group two. One, two, three, four. You have to choose which one is different. And of course, explain why. And so in, in the book, there are many, 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 right? And so for example, um, hotel, here's a topic hotel. And we got, you know, four things, one, two, three, four. And then you write a sentence explaining which one is different and why. Okay. And so there's themes, right? And so um, that's what we're going to do with the worksheet. Um, 
And if this is your first time doing this, I always give this example. This is a, a very simple example. So we have four items, red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Yes, bicycle is different because it is transportation. A bicycle is different because it has two wheels. A bicycle is different because it moves, right? So there's, there's no wrong answer. There's the, the possibilities, the possibilities are endless. It's your thinking, it's your idea. The difficult part is you have to explain yourself in English. You have to describe your idea in English, right? That's the challenge. Um, saying why in English, right? That is the challenge. And what's good about the book is you get lots of um, opportunities to express yourself, to explain yourself in English. So, so for again, okay, around town, the, the first part, right? You write a sentence based on your idea, right? Which one is different and you express your idea. And so here, uh, around town, we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 16 different um, vocabulary words, right? We got flying swings, a swing, a merry-go-round, a Ferris wheel, stadium, store, bank, bridge, parking garage, a taxi, a bench, bicycle lanes, a parking ticket, a casino, a factory, parking meter, right? So we have lots of vocabulary. And then here on this page, you have to choose one and explain why. But on the next page, you write a sentence using each of the vocabulary words. So here you get more practice writing. Then on the next page, using the same vocabulary, you have to um, express your feeling. Now, for example, here, number one, uh, merry-go-rounds are boring. So do you feel that they are boring? If you have a strong feeling, maybe you're like, put 10, right? Oh, I've, they are very, very boring, so you write 10. Or, no, I enjoy merry-go-rounds, they are fun, so maybe you put like a one or a zero. You don't feel they are boring, right? And so you have to read the sentence and then think about how you feel about that sentence. And then at the bottom here, you use a, a verb, tense. And so here, will be, the future progress. So you have to write a sentence using will be. So for example, there's examples here. I will be watching the game next week. And so the topic is stadium, right, around town. And then you have to make a sentence using the uh, verb tense, okay? So it's a challenge, but this book gives you lots and lots of um, practice, and it, it's good practice for you. It's not easy, but, you know, it's a challenge, right? Okay, let's... Do, oh, remember the poll. Thank you, Tetsuro. So number five, I always forget the poll. Five will be the poll. Thank you, Tetsuro. Okay, so let's do which one is different. We did this yesterday, and um, it's good to review. <laughs> oh, Air Lady, thank you. Air Lady says, Mark, I hope that you stay with us. Uh, with your live stream until you're 99 years old. I do too. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Okay, let's have a look at the worksheet here. Okay, and so I want you to tell me which one is different. Here we go. Let's look at um, group one. Okay, let me take it down a little bit. Okay, so we have, okay, here we have group one keywords and our four things. Okay, the topic is art. The topic is art. And we have a vase, a tool, architecture, a sculpture. Okay, of these four, which one is different and why? That's the challenge, right? So you could see, so the sentence, 
I think, so for example, I think vase, or I think a vase, because it's made of ceramic, for example, right? Or um, I think a vase because it's, it's a V shape, <laughs> right? So it's a kind of a, a V shape. Okay, so there's no wrong answer. So you just have to, um, you know, think about these four things. You have to remember, you know, uh, red, blue, bicycle, pink, bicycle because it moves, right? There's no wrong answer. So a vase, a tool, architecture, a sculpture, which one is different? And then the pattern, I think, because. And because that is the challenge. You have to express yourself in English. That's hard. Okay, Umesh, a vase because it has a handle. Very good. Yeah, so it has a handle there. Kadeen, I think a tool because it's very old. Yeah, tools, right? At the beginning, right? That's what, you know, chimps use tools. That's how um, we became human, right? We, we were the only ones to use tools, right? Other, other animals don't use tools, only, only you know, um, not human, but, um, you know, like the chimp stuff, what, what's, <laughs> so, yep, so tools, they are the oldest. Okay, good. Um, Matsura, I think a vase because we, okay, I think a vase because we put flowers into it. We put flowers into it. Okay, good, good. Tetsuro, I think a vase because we can keep water in it. Very good, air lady. I think a vase because it, it's made from ceramic and I can decorate my house. Okay, good. Air lady, here we go. We gotta change a little bit. I think a vase because it's made with ceramic. Okay, that's okay. It's made, okay, not make, but it's made, M-A-D-E, made with ceramic, and I can decorate my house. Decor not decoration, but you wanna make a verb from it. Decoration is a noun, but you wanna make a verb, decorate. Raj, what is the second one? Oh, okay. A tool, T-O-O-L, and a tool we use, tools to make things, right? Raj, we use tools to make things. Carlos, I think a tool because it is not art. Gosh, I think um, tools because, so why gosh, why a tool? Yes, that's correct, Raj. A sculpture, because it's an ancient skill. Good, Umesh. Learner, I think a sculpture, because it has human being. Oh, oh, okay, human being. Okay, good, good. Okay, so, learner, I think a sculpture, because its shape is of a human being. Its shape is of a human being. Tetra, I think a tool because we can use it to do something. Okay. Uh, Raman, I think architecture because we need a pencil to draw. Otherwise, we don't need a pencil. <laughs> yeah, so architecture is a design, right? Design. Architecture is design. Okay, Ra Radha, I, a tool is an art. Nelson, I think a vase because it's, it's made my picture. Oh, or it's um, made with pictures. Good, good, yeah, Nelson. I think a vase because it's made with pictures. It's made with pictures, very good. No wrong answer, see, there's lots of answers here. Great, 
just using your ideas, using your imagination. That's fantastic. That's what, that's what it is. That's what conversation, communication, right? That's what communication is. So you're learning English so you can communicate um, in English, right? So maybe you want to travel or whatever. You're, it's your hobby. You enjoy learning languages and communication. That's why that's what language is. Communication and communication is expressing your ideas, right? You want to. You're thinking in your head something, and you want to express it. You want to say what you are thinking, and that's hard, right? Especially in another language. You know, sometimes in your own language, it's difficult. To express your ideas, right? Even in your own language, it can be difficult. But in a, another language, in a foreign language, it's even more difficult. So this kind of activity is very good for you, for your communication skills. It's good for your your critical thinking skills in in English or your own language. And so that's why I, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, Mark, you're trying to sell your book, but I really believe that um, this book is going to help your your um, imagination. It's going to help your creative skills. It's even in your own language. It's going to help you express your ideas. And you have to look at things in a different way. You have to, and it's a skill. Right, it, and the more you do these kind of things, the the better you get at um, using your imagination, using your critical thinking skills. So I think um, this book will help you in your own language. It will help your thinking skills. It will help your imagination because this 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 this, this activity is forces you to think about things in different ways and it's good for your brain it's it's brain exercise <laughs> okay air lady i think uh, a vase because it's made from ceramic and i can decorate my house yes good air lady mubarak i think a vase because tools need for create an architecture and sculpture, then a vase is there. Okay, Mubarak, here we go. I think a vase because a tool is used to create architecture and sculpture. Okay, here, here we go, Mubarak. A tool is used to create architecture and, and sculptures. Architecture and sculptures architecture and sculptures yes Carlos it is a good challenge yeah I think so I use um, I use every every week in my university classes I give my university students a different worksheet every week and um, they enjoy it and it's, it's a skill you get better at it and um, it just helps your creative thinking it helps your your imagination and um, express different ideas. Oh, uh, thank you, Air Lady. Mwah, I appreciate that. So, Air Lady has my books. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, I really. Oh, uh, thank you. this one. I think this. This is. This is a great activity and, and there's lots of practice, you know, so that's a lot of practice there. Okay, let's let's go to um, uh, thank you, Tetsuro. Yeah, I my universe, yeah, I, I believe this very strong. This help your communication. Okay, here we go. There's group two keywords. Okay, so group two keywords, paint, an easel, film, an idea. Paints, an easel, film, an idea. Which one is different and why? Ah, 
Aza, I think a vase because open container often used to hold um, flowers. Yeah. So so yeah. So um, actually, Aza, I think a vase because it's a container. The others are not right. So a vase is a container, but a tool is not a container. Architecture is not a container. A sculpture is not a container. So Aza. The best sentence is, I think, a vase because it's a container. Because it's a container. Okay, learner, I think paint because it is, um, okay, here you go, learner. I think paint because they are different colors. They are different colors. Oh, great. Amazon, okay, uh, Sasan. Amazon.com, uh, Amazon. So just put my, go to Amazon.com, put my name, Mark Kulik, and you will see my books. Thank you very much. There, in the descriptions, there's a link. So under my video, in the descriptions, there's a link to Amazon. Also, my Patreon, where you can get the worksheets. Oh, Umesh, an idea because Thomas Alva Edison had an idea, the whole world lit up. Yep, so ideas are everything. That's what. You know, that, that's everything, ideas. Nice quote there, Umesh. Oh, sorry, Raj, I didn't see your sentence. Hold on. Oh, okay, Raj, I see now. I think a tool, because it is used by the carpenter. Carpenters make various types of things with the help of tools. Good, good. So, um, Raj, just want to say tools. So, okay, I think tool because it is used by carpenters. Carpenters make various types of things with the help of tools. Very good. Okay, Aza, I think the vase because it's a container. Okay, Aza, it's a container. JV paints are different because there are three of them. Yes. Thank you, um, Sasan. I appreciate your kind support. Mwah. Cecilia, I think film because they have a different genre for the movie. Good, Cecilia. My favorite genre is comedy. <laughs> Okay, Uma, a sculpture, it is made of metal or stone. Good. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, Donna, I, I, a vase because it has beautiful colors. I think a vase because it has beautiful colors. It has beautiful colors. Okay, Raman, I think I, an idea because it pops up in my mind, others are done. Outside, yes. Good, good. Okay, Kadeen, I think paints because it is the plural. Yeah, we're using it as a plural there. One different paints. Good, good, good. Tetsuro, I think paints because they have many different colors. Samuel, I think an idea is different because it's invisible and exists in the brain. Very good, Samuel. Okay, good. Aza. Okay, paint. Because if you change the vowel to O, it becomes point. Oh, very good. I like it, Umash. See, there's no wrong answer. It's your imagination. It's your idea. Very good. Okay, Sasa. I think an idea because it is inside. All others are outside. Yes. 
So inside our mind, the others are outside of our mind. Or the others are not in our mind. So that's probably better. An idea because it's in our mind, the others are not in our mind. Okay, Tetsuro, I think an easel because it's useful when you draw or paint. Okay, Tetsuro, I think an easel because it's useful when you draw or paint. Okay, Oksana, I think an idea because it is not material. It's, it is not a material thing. It is not a material thing. Tetra, I think film because it needs a dark place. Donna, I think a vase because it has beautiful colors. Umesh, film because it provides work for a lot of people. Yes, that takes a lot of people to make a film. That's for sure. Oh, okay, Evelyn. So the last, okay, yeah, let, let's. <laughs> Let's talk about my book for a minute. Okay, so Evelyn has, okay, so um, there's the first book, 50 Very Short Conversations, book one, that's blue. Then the second book, 50 Very Short, there's the second book, and the yellow one is book three. And which one is different? The one we're doing now, there's one right now. It takes me, it takes me a long time to do this because <laughs> it takes a lot. Okay, so I, this was hard. This took me a long time to make. So um, which one is different? This is book one. So um, there you go, Evelyn. So there's four total. One, two, three, and then this one, right? These are conversations. This one is more, um, you know, writing sentences, writing sentences, and this is... Um, conversations. Thank you, Evelyn, for asking. Okay. Um, yeah, there you go, Candy. Candy says, I think an idea because it's endless. I think so too, Candy. Yeah, good, Tetsuo. I think an easel because it's useful when you draw or paint. Okay, good, Aza. I think paint because there are different colors. Oh, oh, I like it. An easel because it has three legs. Hello, Remy. Oh, so Helga, Mark, who draws the pictures for your books? It, it's an artist. She's from the Philippines. So a Filipino artist. Yeah. Okay, Raman, I think an idea because even if you simply sit doing nothing or you are sleeping, you get some ideas, but others you have to do something. Yeah, that's right. So actually for me, I like walking because when I'm walking, I can get lots of ideas. For me, walking lets me, it's a good time to think. And so I enjoy walking because I can um, get new ideas. So for me, walking is very important to get ideas. Okay, I have to go. I'm sorry. It, it's I have to go now. Um, usually on Saturday we do one hour, but we're almost two hours. So um, I have to go. So I'm sorry. Um, but, oh, oh, the poll, we got to do the poll. I'm so I forgot about the poll. Okay, the poll. So in, in the chat, the, 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 the blue box on top of the chat, let's have a look. Donna, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Check it out. Amazon.com.
Oh, good, Air Lady. Thank you, Air Lady. Okay, let's look at the poll here. And here we have to complete, it's kind of a quiz here. It's a little bit of a quiz, okay? So in the blue box, and about, oh, 142 people vote. Thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate it. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, here we go. Complete the sentence. Put the book on the. Put the book on the, okay? And so we have four choices. Ashtray, coffee table, window, shelf. Ashtray, coffee table, window, shelf. Now, there are, that, this is good. Wow, so we have exact percentages. And there are two possible answers. Uh, Sasan, thank you. Wow, today, lots of love today. And yesterday, Aza too. Thank you, Aza, yesterday. Um, Sasan, I appreciate it. Sasan here on the board. This is the love section of the board. You're, you're on the love section here. SS, yeah, okay. Thank you for your kind support. I appreciate it. Mubarak, Sasan, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, I do. Excellent, excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, in the poll, um, it's interesting. There are two possible answers, and they are both at 41%. And then the other two are 9% each. So this is the first. It, this has never happened that we have two like the same percentages. So ashtray, 9%. Coffee table, 41%. Window, 9%. Shelf, 41%. And there are two answers, possible answers. Coffee table, yes. Put the book on the coffee table, that works. Put the book on the shelf, that works. However, Put the book on the ashtray, that's not good. Ashtray's dirty, right? And so don't, don't do that, right? And then um, put the book on the window, that would be a little difficult and maybe that's not a good idea. So um, the, the two best answers, the best two sentences, put the book on the coffee table, put the book on the shelf. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, Raj, so I so so real quick, Raj says, oh, please check my answer. Um, I think an idea is different from the others because we can make our idea easily. We can change or mold our ideas as as for the situation. So not as ideas for a situation. So that, that's good, Raj. So one more time, Raj. I think an idea is different from the others because we can make our idea easily. We can change or mold, we, we can change or mold our ideas for the situation, for a situation. Okay, we can change or mold our ideas for a situation. One more time. We can change or mold our ideas for a situation. Very good, I like it. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, Radha, good, 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 good. Okay, all right, hold on, I'm looking right now at the chat here. Y yeah, we can change or mold our, we can, <laughs> we can change or mold our ideas for situations, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm, I'm going to say goodbye now. And before I say goodbye, I want to say thank you, Mubarak, for your kind support today.
I want to say, Sasan, thank you for your kind support today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. And of course, the green team. Thank you for your kind support, everyone. Um, yes, the green team, they support me every month, and I appreciate that. Mwah. And um, thank you, everyone, for being here. Because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. And um, Candy, thank you so much. I will be here. Hernando, you're very late. We're finishing right now, Hernando. Come on, man. <laughs> um, I will be here on Tuesday, January 10th. All time is going by so fast. We're already like a week into January. I can't believe it. And um, next week, I will be here on Tuesday, January 10th, 5 p.m. Times and days in the descriptions below. Check it out. Check out the days. Check out the times when I am live here on YouTube with you, okay? Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Air Lady. Peace and love. Yes. Mwah. Air Lady, time to feast. I hope you have a nice feast. <laughs> okay, Tetsuro, thank you. You too, have a nice weekend. Yes, Kadeen, next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Japan time. Thank you for that. Mwah. Oh, S will be here on Tuesday, January 10th. Thank you for that. Yeah, as I so I go back to school on February 10th. <laughs> I go back to school. Yeah, so my, my um, New Year's holiday is finishing. Yeah, so I just a couple more days. I go back on Tuesday. Kidding, have a great weekend. Okay, yeah, Carlos um, is Monday 7 p.m. Maybe. I don't, I, I don't know. You have to, okay, I live in Japan, so you need to Google um, Tuesday 5 p.m. for your, your um, time zone, right, where you live. So I live in Japan, and I'm here live on Tuesdays at 5 p.m., so you need to check the, that time for you. Okay, good, Raj. All right, thank you for the love, Raj. Mwah, thank you, thank you. So Raj is on the green team, and she also supports me on Patreon. So thank you, Raj. And I think Raj has the books, so Raj is a big supporter. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay, let's say goodbye. Candy, you two, have a great weekend, Candy. Okay, Mwah. love and peace, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Let's count down, all right? Let's count down to saying goodbye. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's count down together, shall we? And just one more time. Thank you, Mubarak. Thank you, Sasan. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Let's count down together. Five, four, three, two. One. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Mwah. Love and peace. Smile. Stay healthy. Be safe. I will see you on Tuesday, January 10th, 5 p.m. Japan time. I hope to see you then as well. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.